thanks to Mr. Sanders' class from Logudi Middle School for getting us started. I'm Marielle Hickson, and let's start into headlines. First up today, we're taking a look at the young lives caught up in the wars around the world. A new report says children now make up more than half of the world's refugees, people who are fleeing their home country because of war or violence. The number is shocking because it means that one out of every 200 children in the world is a refugee. The UNICEF report shows that around the world, more than 50 million children have been forced to move to another country or have been displaced within their own country. More than half have fled their homes because of conflicts like the civil war in Syria. The global conflicts in Africa, the Middle East, and the Turkey-Syria border have forced the number of child refugees to jump 75%. Currently, the United States and the Middle Eastern countries of Saudi Arabia and Jordan are home to the largest number of child migrants. The data shows that many of the kids face poverty and discrimination and lack any kind of legal representation. UNICEF is now calling on all countries to respect and protect the rights of all children within their borders. Okay, next up. About 35,000 college students are in limbo today after a large vocational school shutdown. ITT Technical Institute announced it would close all of its 130 campuses around the country. It's because the Department of Education recently blocked the school from enrolling new students using federal aid money. The federal government has been cracking down on colleges like ITT Tech, for-profit schools that operate like a business rather than a non-profit. Investigators say the schools often mislead students in order to get them to enroll, making promises about jobs that are not realistic. Jennifer Ditto, a nursing student from Illinois, completed two years of courses at the school and was due to graduate this week. If that gets canceled, yes, we have a degree. It's not guaranteed we can sit for our NCLEX, which is our national test to become a nurse, whether licensed or registered. ITT says the government actions are unconstitutional and inappropriate. Okay, now it's time to hear what you said about celebs promoting products on social media without really telling you. They've all done it, from pop star Selena Gomez to Olympian Usain Bolt. We asked you, should celebrities have to make it clear when they're getting paid to promote a product? And you guys were split right down the middle, 50-50. Mackenzie said no. I believe celebrities have the same rights as normal citizens and have the freedom of speech to post pictures that are not provocative. Hashtag First Amendment. Mrs. Leischer's class said, if celebrities are going to promote products just to get money, then they should say it so the public knows. And Ren said, that's just wrong. People should know that the celebrity is just advertising because they're getting money. Thanks for the comments, guys. There are a whole lot more on Channel1.com. Okay, up next, an American hero treated differently for being a woman is finally getting her final wish. Does your skin feel blah in the morning? To wake it up, you could try this. Or this. Ice? That only works for this guy. Maybe this helps? But really, all you need to wake up your skin is clean, clear morning burst. With ginseng, vitamin C, and bursting beads. It blasts away dirt and oil so your skin feels refreshed and energized. It's the best way to start your day. Clean and clear morning burst. This next story is about an American hero whose legacy will impact generations to come. Asia's here with a story. Yeah, Ariel. Elaine Harmon was a female World War II pilot who wanted to be laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery, the famous military burial ground in Washington, D.C. And this week, she finally got her wish after a long battle. Terry Harmon was handed the burial flag as her mother was finally given military honors at Arlington National Cemetery. <laughs> Elaine Harmon was a member of the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, also known as WASPs. 
She was one of about a thousand women who earned their pilot wings and flew planes during World War II in non-combat missions. This is something that my mother worked hard to earn. But when the aviator died more than a year ago, she was denied her final wish to be buried at Arlington because she didn't serve in a combat role. But her family decided to fight. It's not an easy thing to have to ask Congress to pass a law just to bury your grandmother. Arizona Congresswoman Martha McSally, who is a retired Air Force fighter pilot and the first woman to fly in combat, helped push through the law. These women were amazing pioneers and they opened up doors for women like me to become military pilots later. This is personal for me. 92-year-old Florence Schutze is one of less than 100 wasps still alive. Known as just Schutze, she joined Elaine's family in the fight to get that final wish fulfilled. I'm a great believer in dreams. Got a dream, go for it. I did. Don't, don't give up. Asia Celestino, Channel One News. The WASP program lasted from 1942 to 1944. Now, coming up, yesterday it was all about Hillary, but today we give you the lowdown on the Donald. <laughs> Do you have what it takes to stop super criminal Carmen Sandiego? Now is your chance in the Carmen Sandiego Returns app. Become an Acme agent, travel the globe to gather clues, learn about culture and geography, complete challenges to enhance your skills, narrow down your suspects, and apprehend the criminals. But there's no time to rest because you're on to the next mission. Ha! <laughs> Did you really think it was going to be that easy to catch Carmen Sandiego? Carmen Sandiego Returns. Download today on the App Store. Want to bring the excitement of the presidential election to your school? You can with One Vote 2016, the largest mock election for young people. Voting starts October 17th through the 21st. So get ready, make posters, ballot boxes, and plan your election day assemblies. And check out our complete how-to guide, lesson plan, and all the latest election news for students. Free at OneVote.com. All right, next up, it's time for One Vote with another candidate trying to make his way to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And Tom's here to talk about the one and only Donald Trump. One and only indeed, Ariel. Trump probably has the most unexpected route to this presidential election, from millionaire to reality star. He's done it all but hold political office. Now, let's take a look at Donald Trump's journey into politics. Cue the music. My name Trump. I know you see my name in the sky. I'm from Queens, baby boy, New York City, we fly high. My pops made millions selling building and property. Born in 46, for 40 years I've been dominant. Military school taught me confidence policy. Discipline from my father, it made me stronger undoubtedly. Work hard for what you want and you could get it, no problem. Go further than the stars with no gimmicks, just product. See, I was a student leader and a star athlete. Got a degree from Wharton School of Finance. Took over my pops work, it's all mine now. It's my time now, tell them boys calm down. And we got everything done by 1971. My name all over the world, you can hate it or love it. Wrote the art of the deal, 87 was real. Make some meal of my thoughts, turn myself to a star. Miss USA, I was on the pageant. Then I got my own show, where I fight, slap you fire. Everything I touch, gold, king, mighty status. I'm from a different cloth, you know the finest fabrics. You know I gotta have it, I know the game, I'm a captain it right. Melania, my first lady, made a model my wife Five kids in the end, y'all, those are my life So I'm raising them right, so they seeing the light Follow me on Twitter, had Trump 10 million This ain't age, baby girl, trust me, this is experience You can say what you want, but the fact is I'm perfect Let me show you I deliver on time with a purpose My name's Trump So cool. I never knew that he went to a military high school. You know, I didn't either, but you know, his dad apparently said that he needed discipline and I guess he got it? Ah, uh, possibly. And he was a popular guy. Yeah, definitely back in the day, but flash forward to the election now and he's very polarizing. Americans either love him or they hate him. You know, since he first said that he was running for president last year, it's been one comment after another that has caused outrage. And his critics say he's gone as far as insulting immigrants, war heroes, women, and even a disabled reporter. So lots of controversy there. But you know what? His fans say that they don't care and that they actually like the fact that he doesn't play nice. So 
fair enough for them. But like Hillary Clinton, he's also struggling with lots of scandals and controversy. Yeah, you know, in fact, students are actually suing him for his Trump University. They say it was a scam that the online school allegedly taught his real estate business secrets and cost up to $35,000, lots of money. So he's also made several questionable business deals. And so far, he's the only candidate running for president that hasn't released his tax returns. Uh, those are the money documents that show about just how much money you've made in a year and also how much you've paid in taxes. So lots of questions there, Ariel. Very tricky. Thank you, Tom. Okay, well, next up, he does have some fans and some haters in our Team One boat. Let's see what they had to say. Donald Trump is a uh, successful, intelligent uh, gentleman. He said, I'm going to run this country like a business, and Hillary Clinton thinks that's a very bad thing to say. He successfully ran businesses, he's going to successfully run our country's economy. That's all he's saying. He's not saying that our country's less of value or anything. Trump, uh, I'm with him all the way. Trump regularly insults our allies and praises our enemies. I cannot have respect for the things that Donald Trump says about large groups of people, um, condemnation of, uh, you know, Muslims, people who come from Mexico, immigrants, um, LGBT people. I'm supporting Donald J. Trump for president, and I think the only change is someone as radical and as different as Donald J. Trump. And I think a Trump administration would do a much better job in establishing itself as a powerhouse nation as it once was in the 20th century. I think under Donald Trump we will become, we will reattain our greatness as a nation. Always great to hear from Team One Vote. Plus, you can check out their blog about where they stand on the issues over at channel1.com. And if you think Trump or Hillary isn't for you, then tomorrow we check out the third party candidates. We'll see you then. Schaefer Sharks. I'm Faith, along with Nyona, Leah, and Emma. It's Thursday, September 8th, Day B. Today is National Ampersand Day. The and sign was used by in the first century by Roman scribes when they wrote in cursive. They wrote the Latin word et, which means and. They linked the E and T, get it. And now would you please rise for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the Thank you. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Please listen to our morning announcements. Today's weather, mostly sunny today with a high of 80, 93 degrees. It's heating up. For lunch, beef nacho salad with lettuce, cheese, salsa, and sour cream, steamed corn, and refried beans. For dessert, fresh apple slices along with your original healthy milk. The happy birthday wishes will be coming really soon, so stay tuned. The library is closed today. I repeat, the library is closed today. Today's shark announcements. Reminder to students interested in purchasing a fit at phys ed uniform. Hand in your order form and money ASAP to ensure you receive the first shipment of uniforms. T-shirts are $10, shorts are $15. Thank you, Mr. McCabe, Mrs. Kim, Mr. Hanley. Attention all girls trying out for field hockey. Please make sure your sports physical is into the nurse or Mr. Gordon or Mrs. McKenty before tryouts begin. You will not be able to try out without a physical. Tryout will begin on 
Monday, September 12th, after school. You will need sneakers, cleats if you have them, shin guards, and mouth guard. Dress according to the weather and school dress code policy. If you do not have a stick, you may borrow one. Please be prepared to stay until 5 o'clock. Any questions, see coaches Mr. Gordon, room 226, or Mrs. McKenzie, room 218. Now here's Leah. Did you know that childhood cancer is the leading cause of death by disease in children under the age of 15 in the U.S.? The month of September is Children's Cancer Awareness Month. Please help SGA support Alex's Lemonade Stand by making a donation at lunchtime tomorrow. You may enjoy a delicious cup of lemonade for any donation. For more information, please see Mrs. Franklin in room 201 or go to www.alexslemonade.com. Lights, camera, action. Have you ever dreamed of a career in broadcasting? Want to be a news anchor? Well, here's your chance to audition slash try out on Tuesday, September 20th. Please attend an informational meeting to find out about Sunnyside Up. Meet in room 206 at 315. You will be taking the 410 bus home. All Sunnyside anchors from last year, please report to room 206 on Friday, immediately following Sunnyside Up. Arctic slash Garden Club will be holding their first meeting on September 20th in room 111. See Mrs. Collins for a permission slip and details. You know, I am super excited to start another school year and to show my shark pride. Me too! What? Could it be that you don't know our shark pride? Well, we will sing it for you. Shaver students are highly positive. Shaver students are always prepared. Respectful and responsible, kind and helpful, safe and healthy. Shaver students are Shaver sharks. And once again, it's time to dive into our shark tank and share a splash about... <laughs> Mrs. Kenny, a graduate of Marist College, did you know that Mrs. Kenny backpacked through Europe for a month visiting Ireland, France, Italy, and Germany? She danced on stage at Radio City Music Hall in New York, and before she started teaching, she worked at Franklin Institute Science Museum. You can find Mrs. Kenny teaching 8th grade physical science in room 227. And that concludes the show for today. Make this day an awesome one. Keep, Keep it classy, stay beautiful. beautiful.